The game is starting to come together, and is starting to look really nice. But there is one thing that stands out. Yeah, that needs fixing. So I'm going to use my advanced skills in paint.net to whip some dope UI textures. Now it's time to implement it into the game, and bada bing bada boom. You can now open and close the inventory. But what's the use of an inventory if you can't even use it to store stuff? So for the script, I used a switch to the board. Get out of here. Nobody wants to see that. Surprisingly, I managed to make it in first try. With no pro- With no problem at all. I also just made armor work, equipping tools, and other stuff of the sorts. Now that that's done, there is one more thing that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but never got to doing so. Can you guess what it is? Exactly. It's grass. I don't know how to add grass, so I'll try to wing it. Of course, I'm going to resort to what I know best. Blender. I'm going to add a particle system on the island in Blender, and export that into Unity. But there are some... Issues. Okay, fine. I'll do some research. And after a buttload of time, I found a much better solution. Polybrush. Using this, I can basically paint the grass onto the ground, and it is much more performant friendly. Now that I've finished everything that I've planned, I got extremely bored since I don't really have anything else to do. So, I'm gonna work more on the game. The thing is, I'm not really sure what to work on. Oh right, that. That thing over there is a very poorly designed bad traveling station. I think I can improve it. I just used the structure that I created a while ago, created a cave, and added some vegetation. And finally added some post-processing effects to only that area. Alongside with some particles and a hologram. Next I did some more coding, bound the script to the hologram, and this is how it looks. But what's the point of fast traveling if you don't even have where to teleport to? Well, I do have a work in progress island that we can teleport to, so let's do that. Nice. Now that I got that to work, I would like to add some animations and effects. But I'll leave that for a later date, so back to the water. Currently, you just sorta... drown. It's about time to give Alicia some swimming lessons. It doesn't seem too difficult, just a couple lines of code and... Shit. I managed to get something to work, but the rotations do seem a bit... off. Ah, there's the problem. Just gotta swap this value from an Y to an X, and voila! So the script just stopped working for no apparent reason. I reverted everything back and it still doesn't work. After spending a few hours during the night trying not to wake up my roommates, I finally managed to revert it. So I'll leave it at that for now. Granted, there are no animations in the actual game yet, but I'll be adding that pretty soon. So that's about all I'll share in this video. But before I end the video, full disclaimer, when I say I, I refer to my cousin, the programmer, me, the graphics designer, or both of us at the same time. I'm using the first person simply because I think it makes the videos more appealing, so by I, I mean the Chains crew. Oh, and speaking of the Chains crew, we just wanted to thank our very first Patreon, Igor. We thank you very much, you have greatly motivated us to stay awake late at night, brainstorm ideas about Chains, and spending more time on production. Thank you so much for supporting us, and we honestly didn't expect any support for a very long time. Next devlog in... no idea how long, probably a week or two, maybe more. It really depends on how much we're going to be able to work on chains. So, that's about everything. Thank you for watching, bye bye.